Greetings, good people. So I wanted to uh, get into a little bit about one ingredient of concern that we are going to see in so many products. So I want to just get straight on into it. And I'm going to be glancing over here at uh, my ebook uh, so that I can make sure to be concise and, and not leave anything out. And the ingredient that I'm talking about is Bentramonium methyl sulfate, also known as BTMS. So what is it? So it's a film forming ammonium salt used as an antistatic. Um, it provides slip. It's made by extracting uric acid and rapeseed oil and then goes through a process called hydrogenation. And so I've included these little tidbits about how they're made and the base ingredients so that you all can breadcrumb your way to uh, where I got my information and um, how I source my knowledge. There's also sources in the ebook though, right? Um, but it's important to know the base ingredients of a thing. Um, it breaks it down and helps you understand clearly what they are, how they behave, um, you know, what class of chemicals they belong to and all that. So my findings on Benhydramonium methyl sulfate or BTMS are pretty uh, shocking. Like a lot of us out there think that this is a pretty innocuous or safe ingredient, but actually by my standards, it's not. And let me tell you why. So it is uh, in the category of allergies and immunotoxicity. It is known to be a human toxicant or allergen. Um, in the category of organ system toxicity, non-reproductive, non it says it's a possible human toxicant. Neurotoxicity, uh, one or more in vitro tests on mammalian cells demonstrate neurotoxicity. So what is neurotoxicity? Let me give you a very succinct explanation of exactly what that is. Neurotoxicity is the capacity of chemical, biologic, and physical agents to cause adverse functional or structural change in your nervous system. Do we want to be exposing ourselves to that possibility using hair products? That's an individual choice, right? Uh, developmental and reproductive toxicity, one or more animal studies show effects at moderate doses. Uh, irritation of the eyes, skin, or lungs, the weight of the evidence has not been assessed. So they don't really know for sure how irritating it is to the eye, skins, the eyes, skin, or lungs. Endocrine disruption. This one is also associated with endocrine disruption. So let's take a little peek at what endocrine disruption is. So what is an endocrine disruptor? Well, according to the National Institute of environmental health science endocrine disruptors are chemicals that may interfere with the body's endocrine system and produce adverse de developmental reproductive neurological and immune effects in both humans and wildlife the damage is believed to be most severe during prenatal or early pregnancy exposure do we want to be exposing ourselves to these type of things just to uh use hair products uh, for me and my health standards that's a no which is part of the reason why i included this section of ingredients of concern in the book it's just not necessary uh, there are much better quality products being made that will deliver us the results that we desire without risking our health and um, without slowly drying out our hair and uh, breaking it down because methyl sulfates and um, chlorides can also, they're also derivatives of salt. And you can mix the salts with any number of fatty things you want. Um, and if you consider that a lot of these products also have alcohols in them, Fatty, though they may be, they're still alcohol. They're drying. The end. Well, I know y'all might be thinking, well, Amina, what if it? What if the uh, ingredient list says it's naturally derived uh, benhydramonium methyl sulfate? Uh, I just told y'all that it uh, was made uh, from using rapeseed oil um, and uric acid, both natural substances. Uh, rapeseed oil is uh, commonly known as canola oil. So those are play on a play on words. I want y'all to understand that a uh, majority of these chemicals, uh, the harmful ones, the unsafe ones, um, they can come from natural sources, but they can't be what they are without 
the synthetics added to them. So uh, just know that. And uh, if someone wants to argue it, um, tell them to explain exactly how they made their particular brand of Benhydramonium methyl sulfate and um, with, you know, all of the base ingredients included. And then for sure, you'll know your answer, right? So that is going to be it for Benhydramonium methyl sulfate. Um, be on the lookout, y'all. And of course, if you want to make sure you're doing the best uh that you can to protect your hair and your health from harmful ingredients in these hair care products go ahead and snack it up the book volume two is available and um be safe out there and i will see y'all on the next one peace and um all natural hair grease